Look at that bad boy. My goodness. I like, uh oh. I didn't rattle. Okay. Woo. Chad, Adler Farms. I just put this ball on there and I didn't think to ring a pair of channel locks. Hey, can you guys see me? How you doing? But that could probably vibrate right off of there if I'm not careful. Those loose? No, they're all right. Woo! Look at this beast. Oh yeah, grandpa's losing his marbles right now. What is that, like 15 horses of raw, no, 24 horses of raw power. That's a John Deere Extended Life Series branded mower too. Woo-wee! What's all that mean? It means it cuts grass, that's what it means. I don't know. Oh, somebody asked me the other day what this shirt is. It's actually, can you guys see it? It's the Panhandle, it's Oklahoma. And then we got the little Adler Farms logo up there in the top. It matches my cast or my sling. Whew, man. So I just bought that beast this morning. I'm pretty stinking excited about it. It's not a zero turn. I know you might be thinking, Chad, why didn't you buy a zero turn? You silly goose. I can't drive a zero turn. I'm in talks with two companies for a zero turn and I can't drive either one of them if they showed up tomorrow. Judging by those companies' response times, I don't think either one of them is gonna show up tomorrow, so I'm not really that worried about it. But let me show you what Ray and I did buy and then I'll show you a couple things we bought and then I'll show you why I bought that mower. Job as I can with the wind, guys. And some of y'all that are like, oh, get a mic or windscreen or da da da. Listen, ain't happening. I ain't doing it. Nope. So we did buy a lawnmower the other day from Wally World. <laughs> it is the biggest piece of trash I've ever bought in my life. Yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. This is definitely the biggest piece of trash. We were down here with Carter and Adler, and you'll see that video on Ray's channel right after this video. So just look in the top comment down below. No matter when you see it. Snakes, that's why we bought a mower. If you didn't catch that, if I haven't mentioned it yet. But anyway, this right here, the uh, Remington something from Walmart. I don't do this very often, but that should be a hard no. Don't get that mower. Now, granted, I know some of you guys are like, well, look at what you're mowing, goof troop. Listen, this is just, I mean, this is a peninsula. This is man-made. It's not that bumpy. Sure, it's got some, you know, volunteer grass on it, so you don't know what you're really cutting. But this, that, that mower, nope. Skip. Still have not put any kind of new fish in the pond. And we still have not cleaned up the vegetation. Here's what I'm up against, okay? My experience with carp are about five feet long and making a huge mess aside from the vegetation I want to get rid of. So see this, let me show you. See that? That's not lawn clippings. That's the vegetation growing up through. And you can see it over there on that bank, all the way around. It's gonna take over my pond. We don't want that. Every single cast, one of the boys catches a grass fish. And then Ray or I, have to take that grass fish off the hook. I know I can speak for Ray on this one. I'm over that, way over it. Anyway, man, of all the things in life to complain about, I'm standing on the end of a peninsula on 20 acres. It belongs to us. We're still waiting on a closing date, but it belongs to us. Worried about grass carp. How blessed, how blessed am I? Just can't thank you guys enough. You guys are a huge part of this. You're why I can run by that mower this morning. You're why we continue to do this. And I'm forever grateful. Can't, I can't thank you enough. We have in storage. This is funny. Hold off on the egg cartons for a little bit. But I think it's awesome. And what it means is I can get more chickens. We have at least, I don't know, there's like 20 boxes of probably five or 600 egg cartons in each box. So whatever that would equate to, okay? There's a lot 
So, but I think it's awesome. I put them in storage. They're there. We'll always have them. We don't need any more right now. We'll tell you when we do. Why we did it never really crossed my mind until you guys stepped up huge when I brought it up. But we donate eggs to families. We don't always go to the senior living center. We don't always go to the homeless shelters. But we do take them and we don't get anything in return. And we like it a lot. We love doing it. Uh, last month, one of the most memorable ones was I pulled in to get my oil changed and it was at a little mom and pop shop where I always go. The guy walked up and he goes, you got chickens? Well, dude, there was like, <laughs> there was like, I don't know, 10 or 11 dozen eggs in the front passenger seat of my truck. And he's like, you got chickens? I was like, no, just found them on the side of the road. He said, man, I love farm fresh eggs. I haven't had any since I was a kid. Da, da, da. Well, I offered him a dozen, obviously. Now, I didn't have any egg cartons. This is before I reached out to you guys. And he just stuck them in like an oil filter box or something, you know, uh, just a box he had laying around. He took home a couple dozen. Well, then one of the other service guys got wind of it. One of the other service guys got wind of it. And, you know, these aren't like master mechanics. And I don't care if they see this. They'll all tell you that. These guys aren't living on, you know, some certified mechanics engineer airplane astronaut these are just your hometown boys working in a local oil shop and they took every single one of them it was awesome i loved it well i can't tell those guys hey man you got to bring your carton back because i will go back i know i didn't have cartons then but i will take them more eggs when i get my oil changed and now th now thanks to you guys i can just drop a couple dozen eggs swing by stick them on the counter those guys will have fresh eggs i mean is it a continuous supply for them no but they sincerely appreciate it. And man, I love making people smile. It's a good feeling. It's a real good feeling. And Case and Adler and Carter, they're a part of it. They know where some of those eggs go and I just love it. It's a huge blessing thanks to you guys. So sincerely appreciate it. Man, I can get long-winded quick. Here, let me show you my new toy. Another one of our new toys. Ray and I did not plan on buying one of these. We're waiting. We're about two weeks out on a closing date, and that's per the title company. There's no hiccups, we're not worried about anything. We weren't gonna buy one of these. We weren't gonna buy anything because we were just waiting on a closing date. This kid posted this on the interweb and I paid way less than what that thing's supposed to cost. He used it for one season, it's great. He fired it right up there for me. It's got a two inch hitch on it, which is our two inch hitch for a two inch ball, which is why I put a ball on the back of that lawnmower. Uh, just now so and I might be able to might be able to move my trailer let lawnmower pull my trailer let me know it's just a 14 foot single axle dovetail it ain't heavy and it ain't gonna pull it with that IBC tote full of water on there but it'll definitely move it around the farm if I need to but yeah check that out 22 ton runs splits you can tip it and tilt it for vertical you know all that good stuff but I'd demonstrate but uh do we have anything small enough um all right ray if you're watching this just uh fast forward <laughs> no we don't i don't have anything i can safely do right now but that's okay no biggie it works the kid demonstrated it for me when i picked it up so I'm pretty excited so we put a hitch lock on it put a cover on it so it stays dry it'll get plenty of use it works i know somebody might be like chad don't show your stuff you've got around the property now well we've got whew, hold on there boys and girls We've got cameras on cameras now. We're okay. Cameras on cameras on cameras that are also LTE cameras. So even if somebody takes the camera, we already have a picture of that person. And I mean, let's be frank. We live about, well, if you're, dri if, if you're riding with me, it takes about 12 minutes to get here. If you're riding with Ray, it takes about nine minutes to get here because Ray could cross a NASCAR lane. I'm just going to stop there. But anyway. <laughs> When the dogs were attacking our alpacas, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I made it here in about six minutes. Now, if you look up your average 911 response time, now God bless every first responder, everybody that holds that thin blue line. Your average 911 response time, I don't know what it is, but I bet it ain't much quicker than six minutes if it is six minutes, especially out here, okay? If stopping those dogs from attacking those alpacas didn't prove how quick I can get here when I see something on camera, yeah, trust me. Don't touch my log splitter. 
I'll find you. Sorry, I watched Batman a couple nights ago. I'm feeling froggy. How's the arm? It's doing pretty good. It's more the downtime that I don't like than anything. July 25th, I'll be free and clear to do whatever I want. This coming Tuesday, so not the day you're seeing this, but this coming Tuesday, I believe I get the splint off and I'll just have the, the sling. And the sling at that point is really just to remind yourself, don't use your arm, which I've done a real good job. I did look up, by the way, you know that thing where people are like, man, I can tell it's going to rain. My knee's bothering me. Man, I can tell it's, I can tell it's going to storm. My knee's bothering me. Oh, the weather's going to change. It's going to get cold. Da, da, da. It's true. It's like completely true. I have known for a long time that dogs and animals can sense that barometric, that change in barometric pressure. So I looked up and that's actually what it is when people can feel the weather based on surgeries they've had. It's like hardware in your arm. But basically what it is when, when that pressure changes, our bodies change. Everybody's do. Well, when you've got something foreign in your body, like a screw or, you know, I've got some giant, the way I understand it, I've got some giant sutures holding my bicep to my radial bone. I might be way off, feel free to tell me down below, but I know that's what he drew on the little picture when I asked him to. There's a hard piece of hardware in there and basically the tendon and the bone and all of that, now when the pressure changes, kind of collapse or whatever around that. And I can feel that and it's a very odd feeling. Um, I was even able to feel it before surgery because I had a torn bicep so like my body was not the way god designed it because my bicep was basically in my armpit uh not quite thankfully that would have been real bad that's not that's that's not good that's rolled up way too high i could already tell something was up and now i definitely can it's the weirdest feeling ever it's not like it's not like your knee hurts and then you're like oh it's gonna rain in 30 minutes that's not quite how it works you can tell it's weird i haven't had pain for four or five days and then last night was just real hard time getting to sleep just weird but that's what it was anyway why else did we buy a mower let's go talk i'll tell you why we bought that mower at walmart uh we were bored and we wanted to fish and we couldn't find one of these yet but i'm gonna be taking it back because the pull cord already doesn't work and if they tell me i broke the pull cord i'm gonna laugh because i didn't break it no she came like that she had about six seven pulls in her and that was it it's something i'm really excited about as you guys know, I work with Gallagher. I've had this for, oh man, sorry Gallagher. I've had this for like, it might be a year. So I just got this in the mail and <laughs> we're gonna set it up and see if I can extend the pin for the alpacas. I thought about coming right off the mouth of the gate here, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the best way to go but with this mower, we can mow down where we're going to put that fence at, basically. I would honestly rather, I wonder how many feet it is. It's set on the box. I'm sure you guys already know and you pause the screen. It's like a chicken and duck fence, but let's be honest, this will keep in Fred if Fred knows it's hot. So it's 164 feet. But I don't know how far this is. So there's some good grass right here, but I don't really want to undo that because that messes up our tent. Whoa! Well, there's your problem. Yep, I'm going to have to go in there. Alan! What's up, my homie? How you doing? He's doing terrific, by the way. I'm sure... Well, I know because I edited it. You'll get an update in Ray's video after this one a little later tonight so raise ranch and rescue you got to go sub to that channel if you want to see more about the alpacas they are her babies but let's get that water out actually i'm gonna skip the water right now because i don't want to get my camera wet i don't want to get wet actually i can't get this wet the splint all right i'll check back with you here in a second i'm gonna set up this electric fence and see if we can get these gals and boy some more room
Okay, listen. It's amazing, but there's something I didn't think through. The battery's dead in the charger. <laughs> and point two is not enough to stop a speeding alpaca. Trust me, okay? I'm pretty sure I run about eight or nine. And old buddy just blithed my bicep. So we're gonna let that stinker charge, which is actually supposed to rain the next couple of days. So that ain't gonna work. Woo. They're super curious now, that's for sure. But we're gonna park that charger in the sun. And guys, I've been working with Gallagher for a little over a year now. I checked the postage date on that uh, netting and I love it. Um, Mr. and Mrs. A, our neighbors, that we, they have 10 acres and we, or I should say they've got like, I don't know, they might have 15 or 20 acres, I'm not sure. But the Burger Bros, the two steers we're raising, one's ours, one's Walker Farm Fams, are on their property. And they actually have some pecan trees because they harvest pecans. And we put Gallagher fencing around their pecan trees so the Burger Bros didn't demolish their pecan trees. And it works instantly. It's that easy. I love it. The Highlands, here's what I was going to show you next. Actually, see that barrel? That's even easier. Well, there's the gate. The Highlands are going to go from there to right about here to there. I'm going to do it all with electric fencing. So thanks to Gallagher, and even if you don't have a torn bicep, thanks to Gallagher, I'm going to be able to bring the Highlands down here quickly. Like I don't have to build any fencing, literally none. I'm just running some poly wire. I'm going to get some hard wire from them eventually, like the non-coated as well. Because the only thing I noticed about the poly wire, and this isn't nationwide, you may live somewhere where there's this isn't an issue, but we get ice storms here. And whether you're using poly braid, poly rope, poly wire, when that line gets heavy, it sags a little bit, and that's when they tend to get out. Well, I would imagine with traditional metal that's like the size of baling wire, it's non issue. I can pretty much guarantee it. So we are going to go that route, but we're heading into the warm months. And I've got a whole bunch of poly braid that Gallagher sent me. They're always linked down below. I have a coupon code. You can find this netting. I use the S12, which is new. This is actually, I think, chicken and duck fence. But anything, anything can be held in there by that, okay? Anything that will process, hey, that's hot, don't touch it, it'll stay, okay? You could put your toddler, don't, no, 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 sorry, don't, don't do that. You could put anything in there that'll register, hey, that's hot, don't touch it. That is why I bought that mower, because my next step, even with a bum arm, is I'm going to come off of that gate I just showed you, and I'm just going to mow a path as straight as I can, and you don't need to, and you don't need to with this netting either, because actually the bottom wire isn't hot, so if you don't mow a path, it doesn't really matter. Now, it, can, it cleans it up, I think you get a better charge, but nobody... Don't come at me like, well, you don't have a good charge because you didn't mow. Da, da, da. Bottom wire ain't even hot, bro. Point two. I said that backwards, by the way. The KVs is what you want, but that is not hot. Well, it's registering because it's right next to the white. Nope, there it goes. I got it off that white braid. See? It's not hot. So, you don't even need to mow. I am going to make sure... And I'm not touching the fence anywhere off camera just to alleviate that. But I don't think I am. I set up five or six inches. This is, like I said, I've been working with Gallagher for over a year. It's not my first rodeo with electric fencing. I'm well aware of how it works and how it don't work. But I got to get these highlands out here because I got to get somebody eating my grass. Um, now, if you watch Ray's Ranch and Rescue video, which will be on a little bit later, just stay tuned, turn your notifications on. Here's the pop-up, okay? Go sub to that channel if you're not. We have about, it's not quite 60 feet anymore. It's probably 40. And I know you're like, dude, it's 40 feet. Walk up there and do it, but need help. And Case helped me this morning getting this delivery, raise at work anyway. But what I need to do is get it buttoned up at the driveway. And then I can turn, we actually have two donkeys now. And I can go get them from the neighbors. And yes, they're the neighbors we had the issue with the dog. 
but that does not make them bad people. It doesn't mean they need to, you know, burn. Okay, so calm down. But our two donkeys are safe. They're actually bonding with each other. So that way when they come over here, because we did just have one. And if we brought that one over here, he would have just tried to go back. But now that we have two and they're over there and they're buddies, when we bring them over here, they'll be friends, right? But I want to turn those donkeys loose on the whole 20 acres. Because every perimeter fence I have, every hard perimeter, there's animals on the other side, like large animals, okay? I understand dogs can get through barbed wire. That's why my alpacas were attacked. I get it. As far as like my donkeys getting out, there's cattle on every single side of us, except for the road, of course. And no cows come in. Okay, there, that's there's a ranch over there. They run like 5,000 head between several acres or several pastures, okay? No cows get over here. They actually border us as well. What direction is that? On the north. No cows come over here, okay? So I wanna turn them donkeys loose, fence in the highlands, but that way the donkeys can kind of patrol they can meet the highlands through the fence, that kind of thing. The donkeys will be here first, so they can establish this is their territory. And then every animal we bring to the farm, they will protect. And when do the dogs come out? Not sure yet, okay? Dogs are a little bit different story. I'm still looking into some electric options for dogs. Uh, we also have a puppy coming. Uh, I believe he's like 12 weeks old. We're taking our time and we're doing it right, okay? You saw how much just bringing a couple animals out here disturbed the whole whatever in this uh, little neck of the woods here. So we're just taking our time. We're gonna do it right. You guys gotta go watch. You gotta watch Ray's video later. It's it's uh, it's interesting. So anyway, Lady Lady A's got a little bit of an issue. So anyway, I bet the wind is ripping across this mic, and I bet you guys are typing out your go get a mic. Da, da, da. Listen, there's a PayPal link down below. If you're gonna go get a mic or a windscreen, just Send them, send the moolah to that PayPal thing and I'll go get one. I ain't going to use it, but I'll go get one. <laughs> I sincerely appreciate you guys being here. None of this would be possible without you guys. We're still having a ton of fun. I'm recording this. Look, you guys see that? What's my heart rate before I give away? Yeah, okay. Make sure I wasn't running like 120 beats. You guys all freak out because of my health. Look, whoop, two o'clock in the afternoon, Tuesday the 3rd, and you guys are going to see this sometime this evening. That's how much I love you guys. That's how much we... Just love hanging out. By the way, my tallest best friend, Case. Is he taller than Ray? It's pretty close. Case has a channel. We went live on it this morning inside the watchtower over there and we chatted. It's hilarious. It's awesome. Go watch it. He's not on Facebook. So if you're seeing us on Facebook, you got to go follow him on YouTube. Sorry, that's how it is. He's 13. It's not my rules. Okay. Don't tell me down, down below. I don't care. I'm not going to read it. Go watch his channel. There's a live this morning. It's hilarious. We ordered some traps. He's going to take care of the beavers for me. I think we might even have a muskrat. He's going to take care of the turtles. The channel's called Case Does Stuff, so it's not just trapping. He's actually going on a trip with one of his family members, and you guys don't want to miss that. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. I think I think it's going to happen. But he's taking a trip with a family member, and he's going to vlog like all of his, all on his own. Like He's getting on a plane, he's flying across the country, and he's going to make his own vlog. That's the kind of stuff Case is going to do on case does stuff. Go subscribe to that, okay? Y'all be good, don't work too hard, don't make it weird. God bless, amen. I hope, I hope and pray for every single one of you that your biggest worries are snakes on the peninsula. Really just, yeah, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying, okay? Just keep the snakes off the peninsula in your life. That's what you gotta do. I hope and pray that's all you have to worry about. To you and yours, God bless guys. Peace.